what you are is completely formless, appearing as form for a short while. And for the person or the individual, the ego, this is, it's really possible, impossible to understand because as long as we are wrapped in the story of me, the ongoing story of I was born this day, I like this, I don't like that, this happened to me and I will die and I have a life then we'll always be um, in the illusion of form, which is really just, it's the formless appearing as form. So if there isn't any self in that regard, you, we, are, we are nothing which can only be everything. And this is, it's something that no one can understand. What I'm telling you now, you won't be able to understand. The individual won't be able to understand. Um, because it's nothing. It's nothing being everything. And how can we explain this sort of thing just using words and a few sounds out of our mouth? Vowels and consonants. R, E, O, U, X, X, X. It's just, you can't explain the meaning of the universe or anything just by speaking or using sound. But we know that there is something else and there's a collective shift happening in consciousness. Um, and it has nothing to do with the person, with the individual me. And this doesn't mean, or this doesn't mean that the person has to reject that part anymore. Um, I think that's what happens in the West a lot now is when people have this realization, they push that away so much. Whereas in the East, and this is um, very common, they've, a lot of people have had this realization and in traditions, religions for so long, is they um, balance that with the person. So you can still you know, be a person in the world, uh, have emotions, uh, and express while having this understanding instead of just having to fully drop away. Um, but if we always remain in the story of me and this is my life, my body, um, and we're always sort of moving forward, we're always moving forward to something, it feels like that, but it's not actually real because all we ever have is now, which is just this. And that's where the liberation is. It's not in anything, it's just this, and this, and this. <laughs> and um, yeah, when we really, um, you know, go, go inside and, and get a realization of this, we can see that anything we've projected um, in the future, usually it's just, it's something that arises in consciousness. And we can't actually see it. Um, it's like, when, where can we actually see a thought or see an imagined future? It's like an energy that arises and then disappears. It's not something that is real or stays. What's real and stays is the formless you that is all of us, you and me. And it's just always, it always just is, it's this. And it's continuous energy just appearing as form. And it's very, 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 appears, appears very, very, very real to the person. And you hear lots of teachers, non-dual teachers say, oh, well, when people ask, what can I do to realize this? There must be something the person can do to realize this. And they say, oh, well, there's nothing you can do because there's nobody there. <laughs> and that makes sense. There is no one there to realize anything. Um, but if we want to be practical 
and somehow use thought to maybe just get a sense of how we can discover this, then we could just pay attention to our thoughts. Try take the passenger seat, as they say, um, whether that's learning to meditate. Um, and meditation shouldn't just be for that particular 10, 20, 30 minutes. It should, you should cultivate that state in your day-to-day -day life. It's paying attention to our thoughts and uh, really seeing the, illus the illusory nature of them. Um, getting into our senses, so really feeling like the inside of our body, uh, the inside of our hands and how alive that is. And when we can feel the inside of our body, we drop out of the mind because if we're in our lost in the story of me, the form, we act, we don't feel the senses because we're so, we're so taken by what feels, what is apparently so real to the person. Um, so dropping into senses, uh, breathing, breath is another one that can connect us. And yeah, you will get to a stage where you, you will want to gather enough information, learn as much as you can, and then realize that's also not the answer <laughs> because you just are already and you just are, you're everything being nothing. Um, and there's no person there to realize that it's just consciousness. It's just this energy.